Hello, my dear grade 5 students. How are you? I hope that you are all doing great. Now it's time for our listening for semester 3. Are you ready? What you have to do is to listen carefully to the text in which the writer talks about a misunderstanding that happens between Jones and his neighbor, Mr. Stove. So, listen carefully to the text at least three times, then solve the questions that follow. Paragraph 1. John Davis stood in his yard, watching excitedly as his new kite climbed higher and higher. Suddenly, the wind shifted and the kite took a nose dive into an old oak tree on his neighbor's front lawn. John tucked on the string, but the kite wouldn't budge. Oh no, he thought. The stoves are going to be so mad. John didn't know his neighbors very well. But he knew they didn't appreciate rowdy kids. Paragraph 2 Grabbing a broom, John sneaked across the lawn. I bet this will get my kite down. John thought, boldly taking a swipe at the branches. On his third try, a branch cracked loudly. What was that noise? wondered Mr. Stowe, who was gardening in the backyard jogging around front. He caught John sticking the broken branch back into the tree. How many times have I told you to keep out of my yard? He huffed. Paragraph 3 Marching John next door, Mr. Stowe related the story of the broken branch to John's mother. What if John helps you in your garden to make things right? John's mother asked. Okay, said Mr. Stowe. We'll start now. At first, John sulked as he raked reluctantly. Then Mr. Stowe began telling tales of his own kite flying days. Maybe he's not so grouchy after all, John thought. Later, Mr. Stowe used a ladder to get John's kite, which had a classic diamond shape. This is pretty broken up, he noted. Why don't you come over tomorrow? I'll show you how to make your own kite. Thanks, John said. I'll ask my parents. Paragraph 4 Mr. Stowe was waiting by his workbench when John arrived. Trading tools back and forth, they built the kite together. Would it fly? John was eager to find out. Rain poured down outside, so Mrs. Stowe suggested they all test the kite at the park on Saturday and have a picnic. On Saturday, Breezes chased flocks of clouds across the sky. John released the kite and it took off rapidly, fluttering like a diamond sparkling in the sunlight. Everyone cheered. Say, John, called Mr. Stowe, how about you, your dad and I build a dragon kite next week? So guys, listen carefully now again to the text, then do the questions. Good luck.